A business in the Metro East turning to social media after an exotic lizard is stolen. Fox News' Patrick Clark reports internet detectives tracked down the thief. This lizard's tale involves a thief who took the lizard from an exotic pet store in the Metro East and the community that brought him home. And the whole time, this unnamed male lizard kept its tail. So um, the theft took place on Sunday, January the 2nd. Um, we do a daily inventory here. Our animal care team um, counts our animals every day, and then we have an inventory team that counts all the inventory every day. Uh, we discovered that we were short one of these animals on Monday. That camera footage that showed um, the perpetrator uh, taking the lizard out and blatantly stuffing it in his pocket. From tortoises to snakes to all things in between, sometime Sunday, the thief stole the lizard from the popular Metro East business. Tie-dyed iguana owner Matt Small here posted surveillance video of the thieves on social media. And soon social media uncovered the lizard lifter who returned the pet to O'Fallon, Illinois police. The species is Euromastix. It's specifically a red Niger Euromastix. In this particular case, it's a captive bred red Niger Euromastix, which makes it higher dollar and also has the, uh, the prettier coloring. The herbivore's diet consisting of dark leafy greens does not include crickets. Small here decided not to press charges in order to get the lizard returned. We live in a very different time, um, you know, than maybe this individual was used to shoplifting during. <laughs> like I said, he's, he's got a track record. Um, social media today works very quickly, it works very effectively, and uh, tie dyed iguana has an army. That's the truth. And when you steal from us, you're stealing from our team of people, you're stealing from their families. We, we do have somebody that wants to provide him his forever home. So this individual um, has been contacted and they've been informed that the lizard's back. In Fairview Heights, Illinois, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.